family here. Today we're going to work on a clam series. The clam series is a sideline series and it eats uh, four glute meads. It's a really important muscle on the side of our butt here and it protects and supports and aligns our pelvis. So it's really important to have good strong glute meads for healthy pelvis posture. So let's get started. Coming down onto your mat and laying on your side. You're going to lower yourself down. Actually, before you do that, just have a look at how your legs are. You want the base of your feet when your knees are bent, the soles of your feet to be on the same imaginary wall that your back and bottom are on. So just make sure you've got that line. And then lowering yourself down. If it's comfortable for you, you can either have a pillow or you can lay with your arm out, palm down, um, head here on your arm. But today I'm going to have my head propped up like this so that I can speak to you. So, feet are in line with my bottom, knees are bent. It's really important that you check down your line, your belly stays on the whole time, draw it in, don't let it hang out, okay? Hand is going to go in front or on top of your hip bone here to make sure that when you do your exercise that your pelvis doesn't roll back. It's really important that your hips stay stacked, okay? So let's get going. Clam number one. One, two, for this muscle, three, you've got to squeeze it to lift it, don't let your pelvis move. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Clam number two, heels come off the floor. Again, one, length, two, belly in, three, four, five, six, pelvis stays still, seven, belly in, eight, nine and ten number three one kick close close open kick close two open kick close three open kick close four open kick close five open kick close six drawing in belly and seven kick close Open, kick, close, eight, that's it. Nine, I think I accidentally added an extra one in there. Good, number, that was number three, number four. Open, kick, touch, lift, close, close. Open, kick, touch, lift, close, close. It's a little burner. Kick, touch, lift, close, four, open, kick, Touch, lift, five. Kick, touch, lift, close, six. Open, kick, touch, lift, seven. Keep going. That's it. Eight. Kick, touch, lift, close, close, nine. One more. Touch, lift, close, close, number five. Kick out a little bit higher. Turn your toe down and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and done. Give it a little tap, and we're gonna swap sides. So you can just roll over, um, or you might need to turn yourself like this so you can see the video. Feet in line with bottom, laying down, hand out, my hands under my head. We're stacked, hips are ready, belly's on. One, two, three, four, Five, belly's in, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Clam two, feet up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Squeeze the butt to lift. Eight, nine, ten, and three. One, kick, close. Two, kick, close. Three, kick, close. Four, kick, close. Five, kick, close. Six, kick, close. Seven, eight, nine, woo, ten. And open, kick, touch, lift, close, close. These are the burners. Two, close, close. It's supposed to get a little bit harder each time. Close, close, touch, and that's four. Here's five. Touch, lift, close. It's really important that you touch and lift, close, close. T 
touch, lift, seven, eight, two more. Oh, shaky, shaky. One more. And close, nearly down, open. Kick, turn the leg down a little bit, pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, tiny, seven, eight, nine, ten. And done. Rolling onto your back. Cross one leg over the other and stretch piriformis. If you need a little bit more, little grip here, little grip here for pretzel. And down, cross over, stretch piriformis for a little bit more, holding underneath for pretzel. You can repeat that up to two times if you like for a real butt burner.